Well, a breakthrough treatment for ADHD could, according to some experts, quote, transform the lives of children. A new study found that brain stimulation combined with cognitive training can improve symptoms of ADHD. And doctors say while medications can help, they come with loads of side effects. Joining us now is Dr. Pyle Adhikari. She is a board certified pediatrician. Uh, doctor, thank you for being here. So this sounds promising. What kind of brain stimulation may be involved here and do you think that it's safe? Sounds like this is electrical brain stimulation, which has been around for decades, if not centuries, to treat other diseases like depression, Parkinson's, schizophrenia. Um, whether it's safe or not is what they're testing. So this, this small study showed that it was safe and efficacious, um, but more testing is definitely needed. All right. And there's been an uptick, as you know, in adults being diagnosed with ADHD. Uh, could this potentially help them too? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's definitely promising data that when you um, test it in one population, you then have to test it in other populations, age being the change, the game changer here. So um, as we see results in children, this could definitely be translated to adult medicine as well. All right. Um, we have about 90 seconds left, but I wanted to get your take on another story. A little girl helped to inspire a new cancer pill that can, quote, annihilate solid tumors. Uh, the drug is aimed after her, Anna Olivia Healy. She was a cancer patient from Indiana who was born in 1996. And even though she passed away, her case helped pave the way for the drug. Um, so, doctor, should people be getting their hopes up on this one? There are a lot of cancer drugs that are targeted towards specific cancer cells. So this isn't brand new, but it does sound promising. And um, even though it could take years to develop into an actual FDA approved therapy, I'm excited to see what happens with it. Yeah, absolutely. I think we all are. Um, quickly, in about 10 seconds, how long could this take uh, to be approved? I know you said years. Is there a tighter window? No, it's years. You know, the FDA's goal is to make sure drugs are not only safe, but that they work as well. So it could take years to develop. All right. Dr. Pyle Adhikari, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.